Good evening and welcome into George Finney Stadium here on the campus of Baldwin Wallace University for some men's soccer action here in the Ohio Athletic Conference. I'm Cole McDaniel, happy to be here with you this evening as the Yellow Jackets coming in with a record of 10-3-2, 1-3-1 in the OAC, host the Heidelberg Student Princes with an overall record of 0-13-1 and in the conference 0-5-1. And one. So tonight is we're about we're about to get to the starting lineups here in just a moment. First, want to touch on a few things and the past records for these teams. We talked about it, but talking about the recent history, what's been going on for them. For the Yellow Jackets, a very hot start through non-conference play. Really excellent start to the season for them in, in non-conference play. Again, undefeated, just the one draw to show for. That was the only time they lost points in non-conference play. Of course, the OAC, definitely a tough slate. A little bit of a stumble there at the beginning, but catching their footing now after a couple losses and a draw, a win over Muskingum gets the Yellow Jackets back to their winning ways as they won that one 4-0 over the weekend at Muskingum. As for Heidelberg, the last couple games for them, losses of pretty big score lines there. Uh, had a couple closer losses against Muskingum and John Carroll just the other week, but three straight losses to Mount Union, 5 0, 6 1 to Ohio Northern, and 7 1 to Otterbein. So if you're Heidelberg, of course, trying to find a way to keep this one closer, and the closer you can keep it, the better opportunity you have to strike in possibly look to get your first win on the season. For the Yellow Jackets, going to look to start quick offensively and beginning to see this as a long ball all the way into the box, and this one going to be corralled here early. For the Yellow Jackets in their white jerseys, again, you see a lot of the players out there, almost the whole team in their long sleeves. Chilly evening at kickoff, 44 degrees. Breeze coming through the stadium here as well. So some of the cooler temperatures we've seen so far through the season. But the Yellow Jackets with those white jerseys, the brown numerals, and the gold shorts for the Heidelberg Student Princes in their all-black uniforms with the orange numerals. The Yellow Jackets will be attacking from left to right on your screen. And of course, you're watching and listening live here on BWYellowJackets.com, the home of all Yellow Jacket athletics. And let's get to the starting lineup for the home Yellow Jackets. In goal number zero, Zoltan Nagy. Joining him in the starting lineup, number four, Trevor Ham. Number seven, Owen Reyes. Number six, Max Yakim. Number 11, Dylan Keeling. Number 18, Ethan Corsi. Number 20, Shaheen Garamani. Number 21, Tommy Booser. Number 27, Andrew Chase. And there's an early goal for the Yellow Jackets. Talk about that goal here in just a moment. Finishing that starting lineup, number 30, Nick Young, and number 34, Mike Kane. So just a minute and a half into this first half, and the Yellow Jackets find themselves up 1-0. And talking about the starting lineup, Ethan Corsi, freshman midfielder from Canal Fulton, went to Massillon Jackson for high school. He gets that first goal. So an excellent start for the Yellow Jackets. Exactly what Heidelberg was hoping wouldn't happen is give up a goal quickly. Maybe play a little bit more defensive, keep things tight. Instead, now they're going to be chasing a little bit in this one. The Yellow Jackets coming back for a little bit more. Shaheen Garamani trying to drive into the box. This one poked away from him and picked up by the goalkeeper. So taking a look at the student princes who now find themselves down 1-0. In goal, number zero, Sigurd Ilistad. Number six, Corey Slovic. Number eight, Josh Dom. Number 10, Ethan White. Number 14, Devin Smith. Number 22, Harrison Burge. Number 24, Nick Mangoni. Number 26, Zane Paul. Number 29, Trent Green. Number 32, Nate LaRoche. And number 37, Braylon Houston. Here's Ham looking for that through ball. And that one's cut out. Maybe an opportunity in transition. Said Ham quickly tracking back. 
him and Dylan Keeling, two players out there for the Yellow Jackets with that captain's armband on. Of course, the captain's armband out there on the field for the Heidelberg Student Princes was the same player giving chase, number 10, Ethan White, senior from England. Who's Booser from left back? He finds Kane. Kane looking for the feet of Reyes, and that one is cut out by the defense, but an opportunity to win it back. Garamani playing this to Ham. Out to Young on the near side. Right back trying to get forward, whipping across into the box. This one deep, way past everybody, nobody at that back post, and this will be out for a student prince's throw. Kane looking to turn. This one poked away. So talked a little bit about these two teams, the records coming in, where they are in the OAC standings here at the moment. The Yellow Jackets find themselves sandwiched in between Marietta and Capital with that 1-3-1 one, and one record. As this shot from far out shouldn't trouble Nagy. He's going to find feet. So the Yellow Jackets at that seventh spot. Looking to find a way to maintain the lead, add on to the lead here, and work their way up the table. Heidelberg finds themselves at the bottom in that 10th spot. That loss to Muskingum has Muskingum above Heidelberg, and Heidelberg again talked about looking to get their first points here of conference play. Possession in the middle of the field, looking to turn. Burge has it taken away from him. Reyes, that cutting run of Yakim, And just about a step ahead was the defender there. Yakim wins it back, though, in the corner. Finds Kane. Kane, opportunity to set this one up and shoot. Scuffed it a little bit, going wide to the right. And Garamani nearly coming from his right wing spot, getting his head to that one. It will go over his head and out for a goal kick. But excellent in transition there for the Yellow Jackets, continuing to press even after they lost that ball. Not letting off here. Booster steps in front from left back. We know he's the attacking ability to get forward. Instead of making a run, played it back to Keeling. That engine there of the midfield. Ham's wide open here on the near side. Opportunity to switch and a misplaced pass. And Heidelberg doesn't capitalize in transition themselves. Ham going long. Looking for the diagonal, diagonal run of there of Kane. Defender stepped in front, headed that one down. Yellow Jackets pick up the second ball there. Here's Ham, able to push forward from right center back. Young on the near side wing. Step over. Back to Ham, into the box, floated towards the back post, and this one just so close to floating over the goalkeeper there, but Sigurd Illestad getting out to that one, the grad student from Norway. On a fairly young Heidelberg team. A lot of sophomores on that roster. In goal, Illestad provides some of the experience. Mentioned that Ethan White has the captain armband on his arm here this evening. Illestad, the other one with the captain armband. Defense tracking back, Garamani. 
Here's that through ball, an opportunity. And a save with the feet. Illustad, excellent job of getting that to that one. And the defender trailing Kane. Maybe a little bump there might have just thrown him off as he tried to touch it around. And very nearly 2 0, but still 1 0 on the scoreboard. We played just a little under 10 minutes so far here in the first half. Keeling off the chest of Yakum. And a little half volley. It sits up nicely for him. He wraps the laces through that one with the right boot. Almost looked like a little gritty there. Dance down in the corner. Enjoying the celebration. Teammates loving the goal. 2 0. So credit to Dylan Keeling as well. who's a guy that I deemed the engine there of that midfield from the center defensive mid spot. He picks out great long balls and really facilitates that ball. Looking for his center forward there, Yakum taking that off the chest. Not directly down like he wanted. Kind of popped up and went behind, but he did a great job despite the touch probably not being what he initially intended. Spinning off of it, getting to that ball, sat up nicely and buried at home. Not much. That Illestad, the goalkeeper, could do about that. Down the line, takes a deflection, chase, giving chase, and he will get to it ahead of Slovic. Played out for a Heidelberg throw. So Jakim's goal came into the night with six on the season. That gives him number seven. Now Ethan Corsi, who scored the first goal for the Yellow Jackets on the night, he came in to this evening with one goal himself. Now he is two on the year as well. Working this one around the defense. Smith finding his fellow right center back there and Angonian trying to pass it around the Yellow Jackets, making it hard. For the student princes to really work their way through and find feet. Just a little bit of a disconnect when it comes to getting that ball worked around and keeping possession. Young with the throw here on the near side, looking for the feet of Reyes. He looked to flick that one on. It's gonna be last off of Heidelberg. Now all the way back to the feet of Nagy. Corsi finds Keeling. Back to Corsi. Chase from left center back. Driven ball into the chest of Booser. Well controlled. He's got room. Wanting to cut back. And that one was deflected. An opportunity on the follow-up shot. Directly into the arms of Illestad. Yakum not able to get number two. Had a great opportunity. Looked like Booser was going to be able to hit it with his right foot. But instead... That tip threw it off. Maybe another opportunity for the Yellow Jackets. Stuck under the feet of Kane. And I think the official going to blow this one dead here in maybe just a moment. Yakim trying to get to his feet as he was down. Of course, Heidelberg doesn't need to stop. Continue to play on. Good to see Yakim back to his feet like maybe got his foot stepped on there. Still laboring just a little bit. 
Make you run back to the ball. Young getting forward once again. He wants to cross this, and it's really the second time we've seen Young getting forward from right back. Getting too much on that one. Sitting all the way through to the far side for a throw. Nobody at the back post able to get to that. So, of course, just as normal with OAC play. Always win. The men's program is in a spot. The women's program is in the other and vice versa. On the road, the Yellow Jacket women won their match today against Heidelberg by a score of 4-0. Here's Garamani. And I think official was maybe looking to play advantage there. No advantage. Going to call this one back for Yellow Jackets free kick. Looks like Reyes is getting to his feet and okay. And Keeling standing over this ball. Maybe an opportunity for him to put this one on frame. See if he wants a shot. Here's still from the middle of the field. Just about 30 yards out here at the moment. Plenty of room to put this one up and over the wall if they're going to set up a wall. Looks like they'll go with a two-man wall. Opportunity to fire on frame, driven, but directly into the arms of Ilastad. Easy for him. Maybe could have tested the goalkeeper if it was to either side. Big punt. Smart play from Booser. Just heading it back to Nagy. And Nagy now going to feed Tommy Booser. And heavy touch. Taken off of him. But Corsi there to cover. Yakum would be off sides there. Knew he needed to hold up. Not make the run after that one. And Heidelberg now looking to facilitate. Looked on by LaRoche. Slovic beat into it by Young. Keeling's ball forward deflected. And it should be a Yellow Jackets throw surprise that LaRoche let that one run. Now Reyes wants it with the left foot. Put off a little bit by the tight defense there. Off the outside of the boot. And that one headed more towards the corner flag than the goal. And it will be out for a goal kick. Opportunity for Ilastad to send it the other way. Low driven ball. Misplaced pass. Hanging his head a little bit there. Frustrated with... The pass that he just played, and now the Yellow Jackets have a throw in the final third. Cleared out only as far as the sophomore defender, Andrew Chase. In the direction of Kane. Kane, the left wing, just maybe a step or two ahead of him on that ball, and Gave the thumbs up to Chase for the right idea. Heidelberg's throw here. Trying to head it and get this one down. 50-50 and This one going to go out on the near side now for another Heidelberg throw. Heidelberg wanting to go quick here on this throw instead slowing it down and Slovic back to find some feet Roach long 
along with the left foot. Booster gets the initial header, but it's only going to go as far as Trent Green. All the way back to Illestad from Mangoni. Now with Devin Smith, the left center back. Slovic dispossessed. Garamani looking for the through ball. Yakim, if he gets his head up, he's got Kane wide open at the back post. A little bit ahead of Kane. Kane's going to be able to run this down and keep it in play, but it's going to allow the defense to get back in position. And a huge opportunity. Unable to take advantage of, but Booster wants it. A little bit of a slick, slippery turf because of all the, the rain that had been coming down here earlier today. So dangerous when you can play those shots low and hard. Picking up some speed after it hits the turf, but Illestad, since it went straight to him, fairly comfortable, fairly easy for him there. All the way back to the feet of the goalkeeper. Looking for his left back and a great ball just floating it over the right wing, Garamani. LaRoche keeping it in play. Slovic has it poked away from him. Last off of BW. all the way back to Nagy. Trevor Ham giving him some space and finds him across to Chase now. The center backs connecting. Now Chase wants the long bottle to Yakim and dropped it on a dime. But the center forward just a few steps off. Near sideline judge putting the flag up. And this one's going to be put down at the 25 yard line on the football hashes. Smith back to Illestad. Garamani cuts off that ball here to the near side, so Illestad only had a choice to go long. Heidelberg keeps possession of that ball, but not for long. Booster takes it back. Here's Reyes from Corsi. Square ball over to Keeling. Excellent little drag there behind the back from Keeling. Ham wanting to get forward. This one finds its way to Yakim. If he can get to that ball and turn, Ham up, wants the shot. Still with Yakim, danger not averted. It's going to be out for Yellow Jackets throw. So Yakim at the back post. If he could have turned, could have had a shot himself, instead was taken to ground. Advantage played as Ham making that run forward. He had a great opportunity there on that shot. Just unable to get it by the black jerseys in front of him. And the Yellow Jackets still continuing to press, continuing to try to find the back of the net and add to their tally they have so far on the night. Still 2-0. 23 minutes played, about halfway through the first half. Good handful of substitutes down in the corner for the Yellow Jackets warming up at this point. I assume we'll see plenty of faces here throughout the night. Getting action, resting some of the starters legs as well. Much smaller bench that Heidelberg's carrying on their roster. Nobody in the corner yet moving and warming up. Keeling towards the back post. He's got Reyes. Chase sits up for him. 
and leaning back and sailing that one over. Now, it looked like it was going over all the way, but it still took a slight touch deflection that helped take it over the bar. Now a corner for the Yellow Jackets. Keeling wants it short with the in-swinger towards the back post. He has Reyes. It's deflected. Now off of the crossbar. And the chaos inside the six. A little bit scary there for Heidelberg, but they survived that attack. Now a throw. And Nick Young wants to launch this one into the box. On the long throw towards the near post. Ham flicks it on. Headed away by Heidelberg. Only out as far as Ham. Finds its way back to Yakim. Yakim with the left foot. And it's deflected. Going to be out for a corner again. Wave after wave of attack. And the Yellow Jackets want to go quick. And several defenders paying close attention. So Keeling going to be able to slow this one down. Puts his arm up. About to have the in swinger. From the far side. Into the 18. Right in front of the six. Still deflecting around. Ham with another shot. And it feels like Trevor Ham might end up walking away with the goal here tonight. Keeps getting forward and keeps getting shot after shot. Deflection after deflection. Initial header there, trying to clear that one away. Heidelberg looked like they got to it. Might have just grazed off of the shoulder of Yellow Jacket, who was jumping from behind. So now going to be a goal kick, and Heidelberg can finally breathe easy, avoiding giving up a goal on all of those attacks. And now several substitutions for both of these teams. So for the Yellow Jackets, Ethan Corsi as well as Owen Reyes go to the bench. Into the match is number 14, Ben McCauley. Looks like he'll move to that center defensive mid spot, push Dylan Keeling forward to be more of a box-to-box -box midfielder. Also into the match, number six, El Hajba. Into the match for Heidelberg. Number two, Luke Sawyer, the junior from North Royalton. Ball bouncing around inside the six. Garamani, the closest yellow jacket to that. It's now going to be last off of Heidelberg, out for another corner. Haven't seen too many corners for the Yellow Jackets through the first half of the first half. The last couple of minutes have provided quite a few, and they have been dangerous each and every time. Keeling with the outswinger towards the back post, crashing in his chase. Still not out of that box, applying pressure his chase. Yakim close to that. Going to be cleared out now for a Yellow Jackets throw out on the far side. Tommy Booser up from left back. Low and in defeat. Yakum gets it stuck under his feet and opportunity for Heidelberg to win this back. Cleared away now. Ba switching it to the near side, skipping hard for Young. Does a great job of tracking back, settling it. Garamani turning on his preferred left foot. Square ball deflected. Clean tackle in there from Ethan White. Won that ball. Ended up catching a little bit of ball after. Now last off of the Yellow Jackets and a throw. So, so far the Yellow Jackets, 13 shots, five of them on goal. Three corners for the team as well. Again, I'll mention those three corners being dangerous. Looking like another goal might be looming. Heidelberg may be one of their first times, really their first time they've had the ball down in the attacking third. 
where it hasn't been dropped back to the feet of Nagy by the Yellow Jackets' own doing. Can they apply a little bit of pressure and get their first shot? That one was a shot and headed away by Chase. Garamani keeping that in play. A header showing off the speed. An excellent job winning that ball and looking for that back post run of Yakum. And it's cut out and now going to be a foul against the Yellow Jackets. So a free kick for Heidelberg. Next stoppage. We will see multiple substitutions for BW. Three players at the scores table off to the far side of the field. Deep into the box. Yellow Jackets should get to that one first. It's Trevor Ham. And Ham heads it out to the near side. And it is out for a throw. In defeat. The double being applied. Looking to cross. And Young wins it back. Garamani in transition. He has Yakim here on the near side. McCauley to his left. Too many touches. Allowed Heidelberg to get back defensively and take it away. Here's a shot from Long. Low driven ball deflected. Ethan White got that head up and wanted the look. Now taken off the foot of Burge. And now we're going to get those substitutions. Three for the Yellow Jackets to be exact and one for Heidelberg. Checking out Yakum, Kane, and Garamani. So the front three put in a good shift so far. Turning, looking for feet, Keeling, trying to get his head up and find a teammate. Uh, players in for the Yellow Jackets. At center forward now, number 28, Nick Surwitz, the senior from Medina, went to Medina Highland High School. Leading goal scorer on the team with 10 on the season. Number five, Brandon Garibati, senior here from Berea. Went to Berea Mid Park High School, just on the other side of the the street outside of the stadium here and also in here at right wing number 26 Michael Tusick the junior from Strongsville ball in the six and Surwitz nearly made it 11 on the season for him got the left foot to it just a little bit wide right of the post there was looking to tuck it into that back corner So still 2-0. Just under 15 left to go here in the first half. Number 11, Andre Navas. In it. The center forward position for the student princes. Switching an excellent touch by LaRoche. White trying to drive. A little bit of a trip from behind. Ba just caught him enough. And White losing his footing enough that he still stayed on his feet. But ball got behind him. No advantage there for Heidelberg. And the official does the right thing. Call this one back. Now a free kick here from the near side. At the 23-yard line here on the near side. Football hashes. The in-swinger whipping this one in towards the back post, trying to flick that one on. Yellow Jackets win the initial header. Danger not gone yet. And this one going to be last off of Heidelberg. The clearance for the Yellow Jackets got deflected. Directly went off the leg of a student Prince player. So now a goal kick for the Yellow Jackets. And prior to the goal kick, trying to go early. Substitution for Heidelberg. So checking out, going to the bench, number 22, Harrison Burge. And for him, number 30, Lucas Stein. Freshman from Willard. Into 
Him looking for that long ball. Garibaldi with the diagonal run. Stumble, but getting that pass away. The Roach has it taken from him by Tusik. Tusik drifting into the middle, shielding off. Finds Ham. The run of Surowitz and a great turn by Surowitz. He has Keeling. Keeling sets it up for the hit with the left foot. And low in a hard roller directly to Ilastad. And Keeling, you could see a little bit of disappointment there, frustration. The few shots he has had so far, one from that free kick, that one from open play as well. Both have gone directly to the goalkeeper. Just need to find a way to get it to either side. Make him have to move and dive and really work for that save. Excellent strength there from White. A little bit frustrated with a couple bumps from behind and then dribbling it off of the official and the official, of course. Giving the ball here to Heidelberg and they'll have the free kick. Put this down technically, really. Would be deemed more of a drop ball. Putting this down for Heidelberg to play this forward. Get this one back in play and White again. Really the engine that runs Heidelberg. And a lot of credit to him despite the tough season that the student princes have had. White the senior, not only a captain out there, but he's playing like a leader, leading by example with his aggressiveness and willing to try to make something happen. Elstad has to clear this one away. Header one by McCauley. Down the line by Sawyer. McCauley just pulling on the shoulders there of Stein and Stein stumbling. Free kick now for Heidelberg here on the near side. Just inside the touch line. Down to exactly 10 minutes remaining here in the first half. Yellow Jackets getting their two goals very early in this one. Both coming within the first 10 minutes. Things have been a little bit more quiet. Looking to get back on the attack and maybe a great opportunity to do it here. Surowitz in transition. Garibaldi joining him to his left. Tusik in the middle of the field with the diagonal run. And Tusik tried to touch that in front of him, deflected off of Heidelberg. Garibaldi, opportunity to go quick. Tusik shielding off in the corner. Back to Booser. Putting this one in the box, floating this one up and over. No chance for Surowitz to get to that one. Easy catch there for Illestad. Long ball, still up in the air. 50-50 for these two, last off the head of Keeling. Throw here for Heidelberg. Into the feet of White, pressure from Keeling from behind. And it's gonna be last off of Heidelberg. Tusik, diagonal run of Garibaldi and it was a great ball and a great run there. Garibaldi outstretching that foot. That skip off of the slick surface, took it just a little bit too far out of Garibaldi's reach there at the near post. But those diagonal runs, they really all of the forwards have been making. A lot of inter interchanging between the wingers and the number nine in the middle, whether that was the starting group of Garamani, Kane, Yakim, or it's this group here of Garibaldi, Surowitz, and Tusek. Turning possession over here. 
turn, and that one's going to run out of play too far for Slovic to get to that one. Several substitutions for the Yellow Jackets. Tommy Booser will go take a seat. Same with Dylan Keeling and Nick Young. So number 17, Julian Kieras into the match. He'll move up to left wing. Brandon Garibody now drops to left back. Number 13, Abdullah Muhammad now finds himself at right back, and they're going to make the switch where Garibody will come over to right back and Muhammad over to left. In the midfield, number 8, Alex Gibson gets his first action on the night. When running on into the corner, Muhammad giving chase, applying the pressure, winning a throw for his team. Quickly to Gibson. Gibson, low driven ball, skipping in at the near post. And picked up by Illestad. Plenty of space for Ham here. Motioning for somebody to check to. Tusik does. But Garibody runs long. That one hung up in the wind just a little bit. So it took the pace off of it. Now a Yellow Jackets throw. Tusik. Sirwitz turning that one over, trying to win possession back. He did get to the ball, but really aggressive there with the upper body. Arms coming directly into the defender and then putting Luke Sawyer on his back. Official all over that one. Free kick now for Heidelberg. Garibody into the feet of Tusik. Back to Garibody. Turns and just looking to possess. Ham has chase at left center back. Some room in front of him to work forward. Looks like an outside of the right foot pass. Floating this one forward. Head right back down to the Yellow Jackets feet. An opportunity. Beautiful ball there from Garibaldi towards the back post. Headed away and Heidelberg looking to come in transition. A few turnovers back to back and now Chase can finally settle. Just looking for a midfielder or a winger to check back to this ball and show for feet. Kieris does there. Too sick. Little pass. Trying to get cheeky with it and unable to connect with Surowitz. Ball showing some strength. Ham cutting out that pass intended from White to Andre Navas. And ball initially won. White goes hard to ground. Plenty of contact. Now a little slide from behind and probably smart from Sawyer to pull out of that one. You saw he made the attempt to not make contact with McCauley. Tusik. Cutting between defenders into the box with the left foot and just slipping that one past the post. Goal kick. Heidelberg still 2-0. Three and a half minutes left to go in the first half. Substitution again up top. Number 11, Andre Navas. Quiet up there. Not too many touches for him. Credit to the Yellow Jackets defense. Into the match for Heidelberg number 17 and unfortunately on the roster 
that I have been given here tonight. Do not see a number 17, so we'll see if there is an announcement of who that is for Heidelberg. White turns, finds Dom. Throw for BW, they want to go quick. Tusik to Kieris. Pressure applied from behind and loses the ball there. Out on the far side. Cutting in and finding feet. Wanting this from far in that one skipping off the turf picked up a little bit of speed just a little bit wide to the right by Kieres so as we're down to one minute here remaining in the half a reminder that tonight's Yellow Jacket men's soccer match is being brought to you by BSN Sports and Nike the official apparel and uniform provider for Yellow Jacket Athletics Cleveland Clinic Sports Medicine proud medical provider for BW Athletics and its student athletes as well as Dan Andrews and Olympic Forest Products, a global recycling company, and another goal right at the last for the Yellow Jackets. Michael Tusik here on the near side wing. Right winger sliding that one right across the six. Crashing in. And the finish there from Kieris with the left foot. So that goal for Kieris is now his fourth on the season for Tusik, picking up the assist. That is assist number four for him. So great link up play there in transition for BW with only 30 seconds remaining here in the half. And unless something crazy happens in the next 20 seconds, probably going to be going to the locker room with a 3-0 lead and something the Yellow Jackets will be happy with. It's Serwitz wants more as this one sits up and kind of sliced across that shot from Long. Put that one on frame and the save there from Illestad. And so going to the locker room, it is 3-0 in favor of the Yellow Jackets as they look to get their second win here in conference play. Look to continue to improve on a very impressive 10-3-2 record here so far this season. For Heidelberg, long way back into this one. They find themselves down three. Still looking for that first win on the year. 45 minutes going to be up on the clock. As for myself, again, Cole McDaniel, thank you everybody for watching and listening here on BWYellowJackets.com. Going to take a break here during halftime, but be back for the start of the second half.
Welcome back here on BWYellowJackets.com. We're about to get the second half of action underway as the men's soccer program here for the Yellow Jackets currently hold a 3-0 advantage over the Heidelberg Student Princes. Here from George Finney Stadium, Trussell Field on the campus of Baldwin Wallace University. Mentioned at the start of this broadcast, much cooler evening at kickoff. It was 44 degrees. And you see a lot of the, the Yellow Jackets down there with the long sleeve jerseys on. Some gloves out there as well. Quite a decent wind also coming across the field here. And that wind's going to be a little bit more at the back of the Yellow Jackets here in the second half. They'll be attacking from right to left on your screen. If you're just now tuning in, you weren't here for the first half, welcome in. Again, I'm Cole McDaniel. Happy to have everybody joining, watching, and listening live to this one. Taking a look at the recap, the Yellow Jackets got started early. A goal by Ethan Corsi, the freshman. His goal opening up the tally tonight for the Yellow Jackets. Made the assist courtesy of Shaheen Garamani. Now, not too long later, the second goal found the back of the net. Therefore, the Yellow Jackets in the ninth minute. So within the first 10 minutes, the Yellow Jackets found themselves up with a comfortable 2-0 advantage. Continued to put shots on frame. Getting a lot of shots off in total. Take a look at that stat here in, in just a moment. But things were a little bit quiet. Not much happening scoring-wise. was 2-0 for a majority of the second half. Then with 30 seconds remaining in the 45th minute, Julian Carres is able to Find the third goal for the Yellow Jackets off of Michael Tusik assists. Played across the six. And Kieris, all he had to do was get his foot on that, put it on frame, and put that one past Ilastad. So went all the way back to Nagy. Nagy outside of his box trying to dribble it in. And then he will dive on this ball. So smart play there from Nagy. Talked about the shot advantage that the Yellow Jackets had. 21 shots in total in the first half. Now I'm sure they'd like to get even more of those on frame, just 10 of them on goal. But it hasn't really mattered too much that a lot were off of the frame. They're getting the shots, getting the opportunities and the chances, and three goals, definitely something good to work with. But goal differential, still an important thing. Obviously, you want to walk away with the three points here with the win. Be a long way for Heidelberg to be able to come back in this one. But if you're the Yellow Jackets, you want to maintain that scoreless, clean sheet here at this point. Defensively, again, that's a huge thing. It would be encouraging to walk out of this, not conceding a goal. But also, offensively, you're going to see the Yellow Jackets continue to attack, continue to put pressure on and Look to increase that goal differential, which could be crucial when it comes down to, first of all, trying to make it in the OAC tournament. But also, that is one of those tiebreaker categories, of course, when it comes to seeding. For Heidelberg, not too much offensively shot-wise for them. They got a couple in the latter stages of the first half, starting to settle in a little bit more. Three in total, one of those on goal. Pressure being applied on Nagy right now, and Nagy clears it out. Garamani cutting back. Great move there, looking for the cutting run of Kane. And Kane, when he started that run, looked like it would be close to him being offsides. He was definitely walking that line there. It didn't matter the pass too hard. Rolled out. Back of the end zone here on the football field. And now a goal kick for Heidelberg. One, two out of the back. And Shaheen Garamani tracking back, applying that pressure on number 32, Nate LaRoche. And Forcing him to dribble out of play. Got a cheer from his bench. It happened directly in front of them. Have to give a ton of credit to Shaheen Garamani, the senior forward from Streetsboro. A lot of the non-conference schedule. Being one of those guys coming off of the bench, applying that energy and 
the hustle that he shows in every single game. Here, starting tonight, started quite a few times here through conference play. He's done a lot of nice things and have to love that intensity. Tommy Booser, clever run here from left back. Beat two players on the dribble. Trying to beat a third, the cross, and unable to wrap the hips around that one. The final ball just missing that finishing product. But everything up to it was great from the left back. Ball played long, and Chase heads this one. Looks like Trevor Ham and Chase have actually flipped from right center back and left center back. Corsi back to Ham. And now it looks like the center backs are going to switch back to how they started. Good communication. Intercha interchanging there between the defenders. Green found White. White's pass back to Smith. Illestad out to Mangoni. Wanting to send this one long. Should be an easy header there for Young. He wins it. Second ball picked up by Corsi. Young making the overlapping run. 1-2 between him and Jakob, and that is cut out by LaRoche. Here's Garamani, dropping his shoulder, turning on the Jets, on his preferred left foot, back across the six, and this one sits up, and Kane opening up the hip, putting his foot on that one, and leaning back the whole way, and again, it did take a hop in front of him. That one sailed up over the bar. But just such a great ball, though, across the middle there from Garamani, and that one's dangerous. Still 3-0, but the Yellow Jackets pressing for more. Heidelberg winning the ball back. Looking to dribble through three Yellow Jackets, trying to get past the fourth, unable to do so. Joachim, 1-2, a curler with the right foot. That one started wide and stayed wide. Goal kick. All back to Illestad. Devin Smith finding the feet of Sawyer. Sawyer turning, getting his head up. Connects with Zane Paul, and Zane Paul muscled off of the ball. But now it's going to be last off of BW Heidelberg throw here on the near side, close to midfield. Alex Gibson winning it back. Keeling, Jakim has one to beat. Instead wants to get back on his right foot. Gibson, that one just a little bit over. And it was tipped over by Illestad. It was right down the middle, so easy for him to get to that one and save it. But just to be safe, he did need to get a touch on it. And now a corner for BW. So Keeling, the right-footed set piece taker, out to the far side. His outswinger near post and cleared away by Heidelberg. It's only going to get out as far as Corsi. Out to Keeling, opportunity to swing it into the box. Driven ball towards the back post. Love the placement of where he put that one. Maybe would have wanted to bring that one about a yard or so out closer to the six, but it dropped inside the six at the back post. Beyond the goalkeeper, Illestad, if one of those players in the box, one of the two Yellow Jackets, continued to their run towards the back post, could have been threatening. That one pops up. Booser lets that one run, and now a throw.
Yakum with the chest, turns, Keeling has Young wide open on the far side. From the right wing, the right back getting forward, looking to get across it. Instead, a little nutmeg on the left foot, low shot, deflected. In a foot race to get back. And just bodies the attacking player, but it is going to be last off of Young and out for a Heidelberg throw. Throw for LaRoche. Floating this in the direction of Burge, and it is going to be cut out by BW. Up on the line and just barely out there on the touchline. All the hands went up for the Yellow Jackets. Far side line judge saw that. BW's throw, and now an opportunity to work it around and keep possession. Chase to Yakim, looks over his shoulder, instead turns the other way. Trying to feed Booster on the square ball here to the near side. Just a touch ahead of him. Out for a throw. Green. Back to Mangoni. Now to Illistad. Finds his right center back again, getting his head up, looking for some help. Nice ball delivered into the feet of Paul, but Paul unable in possession to hold that one up. 1-2, Keeling, and a goal for Dylan Keeling. Assist, Max Yakim, and that was clinical there from the Yellow Jackets, working that ball around and taking black jerseys out of the play. Dylan Keeling, the senior midfielder from Rocky River. Gets his first goal on the season. Had three assists. Really that set-piece specialist. And an excellent first goal for him. So that one coming with just about 10 minutes played so far here in the second half. 4-0 for BW. A commanding lead. Still plenty of time left to go in this one. Just a little over 34 minutes left. Now, their last time out, mentioned getting back to winning ways. They did beat Muskingum 4-0. Now currently sitting at 4-0. See if they can better that. Is looking to go on a two-game win streak here. Nagy wants to throw this one out to Booster, and Booster has a good 40 yards in front of him. Midfielder tracking across outside of the football down the left channel. Yakim just flicks this one into the six. It was actually just a little bit outside of that six, inside the 18. Cut out at the near post, and Foul here on the near side, and now a Heidelberg free kick. Going to push the black jerseys forward. And look to send this one long, it appears. Flicked on by Burge in the direction of Slovic and out by Booser. Back into play by Green on the throw. So a substitution here coming for Heidelberg. Checking out as their senior midfielder number 10, Ethan White. End of the match for him, number 30, Lucas Stein. Gibson back to Ham. Yakum, excellent touch there, finding Young. Just 
Great ball movement there on that far side. Here's Kane. Low driven ball. Crashing in is Corsi. Corsi. Just put off by that challenge from behind. Not able to get the contact he wanted. And that one up and over the bar. Out for a goal kick. Still 4-0 up on the scoreboard. And as Heidelberg gets this one back into play, a reminder that tonight's Yellow Jacket men's soccer match is being brought to you by the Oswald Company. Risk and insurance leaders since 1893. Chuck Rotuno and OE Connection LLC, your global automotive technology provider, as well as Medical Mutual of Ohio, the official health care provider of Baldwin-Wallace University. Throw on the far side, floated in. Intercepted by Heidelberg, but they're unable to keep possession. Here's Chase, the left center back. Finding the feet of left winger Kane, who's checked in. Again, a lot of interchanging between those forwards up top. Jakim checking back with the hold-up play. Back to Booser. Booser wanting a touch inside. Thought about playing it in the box instead. Back to Gibson. Ham calls him off. Young, looking for that cross in. This is a low-driven ball. Kane nearly gets to that one at the near post. Heidelberg gathering it, looking to go in transition. And a tough pass behind Trent Green. A little bit frustrated as he felt like Zane Paul should have found him and probably should have there. Last touch off of the Yellow Jackets, Kane not happy with it. Seemed to be pretty obvious from up here, and the officials got it right down there on the field. Switching fields. Down the left-hand channel. Ham read that one the whole way. He gets to it first. Back to the feet of Nagy. Burge the closest there on that run and now applying some pressure. Ham driven ball, low with the laces into the feet of Yakim. And the freshman forward went to Normandy High School. Does a great job of coming back and finding a way to get himself in the game. Not just sitting up there not coming back to get to the ball. He really presents an option. And you see the, the conscious effort he makes to come back, get a touch on it. He'll play it right back. And then once that ball's played back, you'll see it go through to some of those diagonal runners, some of those wingers, maybe those outside backs getting forward. It's exactly what head coach Reed Ayers likes to see, that forward back and through. And now here, not a great opportunity for the Yellow Jackets in transition. They have numbers. 3v1, and Kane honestly could have passed that one up for a tap-in. Instead, maybe a little bit selfish there on that, wanted a goal for himself and a slow roller. And Sigurd Illestad making the save. That one looked like a sure goal for the Yellow Jackets. Chase Yakim. There's that back. The run from Gibson on the far side. Had some space. Heidelberg wins this one back. Roach just playing this one forward. Ham back to Nagy again. Something the Yellow Jackets have done great here tonight is obviously something I don't have stats on. It's possession between these two teams. Yellow Jackets really bossing possession here this evening. They've done an excellent job of passing in tight spaces as well. A lot of one-twos. Maybe Dylan Keeling with a shot from far out. He wanted that one. Got behind it. Sailed that one high and over. Plenty of space he was given there, and eyes lit up for the senior midfielder. Already has a goal on the night. Yeah. 
Young steps in front. Coming back and winning it for Heidelberg is Dom. Heavy touch. Turned over by Slovic. Keeling. Out to Kane. Kane cutting in. He wants a shot from deep. Starts that one wide. Looking for the curler. And falling to his right as he fired that one. So didn't quite have the whip on it that he would have wanted to bring that one back on frame. And went through the crowd of subs there on the far side. Warming up back in the corner. Young, back, top of the 18, Yakum up and over. And now substitutions, one apiece, and looks like Yakum's going to go to the bench. Nick Surwitz back in. Mentioned those are the two leading goal scorers on the team. Surwitz, the only one in double digits, has 10 goals here on the season. See if he looks to get in on the scoring action. Also into the match for Heidelberg, number 37, Braylon Houston. Surwitz, clever turn. Trying to find Garamani and Garamani not continuing that run, but his pressure wins that ball back. Still a battle for it down in the corner and Heidelberg finally comes away with it. Ham jumps that pass. Dom turns, and that one deflected off of Corsi, but it worked out. Out to LaRoche. Young can switch. Booster slowing it down, getting his head up, finding Gibson. Booster putting that head down, showing off his speed. Little tug from behind. Still has possession, getting forward. Delivers that cross in. Square ball played behind Keeling and Keeling slips, but Corsi comes back. Gathers that ball and maintains possession. Now Chase wants it for deep. And from deep, the right center back. Got his laces through that one. Had plenty of power. It started over and just did not dip. Stayed a couple feet over that bar. Now a goal kick and substitution in goal is Zoltan Nagy, the sophomore goalkeeper. From Lakewood, went to St. Edward High School. Another great night for him. Not too much action. Oh, a great job back there of talking with his defense as well as giving an option with his feet. And now number one, Nolan Kellogg, the senior goalkeeper from Strongsville into the match. Dom looking for that cross towards the back post. He's got a man. The header won. Back across the six, and that one's dangerous. Not able to clear. Deflection on the shot. Looked like an opportunity. Put it on frame. And that was the most dangerous chance Heidelberg has had so far. Looked like they were going to get their first goal on the night. Make this 4-1. Instead, door slams shut by the Yellow Jackets defense pretty close to that line. Now a corner for Heidelberg. They hope to capitalize here. It's 
So they have scored one goal apiece in each of the last two matches. Looking to do the same thing here. And that one was saved by Kellogg. His first action here after just subbing in. Surwitz in transition. A beautiful ball out to Garamani. And white jerseys are forward. Garamani wants it. If he can get the cross in, just a little bit too heavy on that touch. And Ilastad quick to jump on that one. And if Garamani, he could have just touched that around the defender, dropped that shoulder, turned on the Jets, but kept it a little closer to his body, I would think he would have been able to play that one across the box and find one of those teammates closer to the back post or in the middle. Surowitz wanted to find Keeling. Coming across with Smith. Playing that one out. Now cleared out for a Yellow Jackets throw, and we have another substitution upcoming. So number 20, Shaheen Garamani goes to the bench. Same with number 34, Mike Kane. Into the match, number three, Kyle Eddy. Senior midfielder from Lewis Center. Went to Olentangy High School. Also back in. First action of the second half. Number 26, Michael Tusick sitting on an assist on the night. We've played a little bit over half of the second half. 20 minutes remaining. 4-0 in favor of BW. Here is Keeling. Head up. Finds Booser. Booser one touch to Eddie. Eddie with the left foot at the near post. He found Surwitz. Surwitz looking to get past the defender and play this one in. And it's cut out an opportunity to clear. If that one could have been played in bounds down that right channel... Number 26, Zane Paul, was behind Chase. But now out for Yellow Jackets. Throw several substitutions upcoming here for Heidelberg. Have to wait for the next dead ball. Gibson wins it back. Here's Keeling. Looking for that back post run. Great run there by Surowitz. He's going to be able to run this one down. Keep it in play in the corner. Going 1v1. Making a move. Keeps possession of the ball. On the left foot. Towards the near post. Just fingertips on that save there by Ilastad. And that forced it onto the post. And it bounced right back. And Heidelberg able to clear it away. Illstad doing just enough, but this one still inside the 18. A crowd around, around the six. Cleared out only as far as Booster, and Booster pulled down from behind. Whiffs on that shot as he goes to ground. And that one directly in front of the center official, and couldn't be much more easy for the head official. And now a free kick opportunity here from the middle of the park. No Keeling's going to want another chance at this one. Really, that set-piece specialist. But Nick Surowitz, seen him score a free kick here a few weeks ago. And so would believe and would assume that Surowitz is going to step up and hit this one. Wants this one. Puts it on frame. Up and over the wall. And Ilastad on full extension off to his left. Parries that one away. And now that it's out of play, substitutions for both of these squads. Tommy Booster goes to the bench. So does Ethan Corsi. Back into the match is number 13, Abdullah Muhammad. Also in number 10, Matt Skladani. Goalkeeper down, Sigurd Illestad. After he laid out for that save. He's made some excellent efforts here tonight. To make sure the score doesn't look even more lopsided than what it does here right now at 4-0. A lot of credit to the grad student. 
from Norway. Been very active in goal. So the clock stopped right now, and as we have the brief pause in action, can give you an update of the other matches in the conference this evening here in men's soccer. Last update on Ohio Northern and Wilmington, they were knotted up at 1-1. As for the match between Capital and Marietta, Capital find themselves up 2-1 to one at this point. Mount Union up 2-0 on Muskingum. As we have a substitution in goal, I'll get to that John Carroll Otterbein game here in just a moment. But in now... For Sigurd Illestad is now number one, Thomas Abraham, junior goalkeeper out of White House, Ohio. Ham looking to flick that one on. Tusik dragging that with his right foot. Stayed low and now played out here for a throw on the near side. Muhammad to the back post. Hangs up and over the head of Eddie. Running it down. And kept in play. And Heidelberg just needs to clear this one. In the box, Surowitz closest to that. That one just a little bit too far and out of play. It's up there from Hunter Grown, the junior. Glad to see him up and okay, slipping on that wet track with the tarp down. So we're going to be out for Yellow Jackets throw. Mentioned the one match. Didn't have the chance to get to the score update there. John Carroll leads Otterbein by a score of 1-0. Abraham, some of his first action goal so far. That save. Takes that one directly in his chest. Rolls this one out to his right center back, who sends that one away. Takes a little bit of contact. And the foul call going against the Yellow Jackets on that pressure applied by Tusik. And Nick Mangoni, the sophomore defender from Virginia, looks to be shaken up a little bit after that challenge. Under 15 minutes left to go here in the second half. Turn and now played out to the far side by Burge. Ham steps in front of Grone. Zerowitz has a wide open Keeling here on the near side. Wants this one back at the far post. One black jersey had an opportunity to clear that one away and they were able to do so. One, two between Skladani and Gibson. And we're gonna have a substitution here in just a moment. Looks like right center back, 
Nick Mangoni. He has not quite gotten over that knock he took. So coming in for him is now number two, Luke Sawyer. Several, several substitutions for the Yellow Jackets. Alex Gibson goes to the bench, as well as Dylan Keeling. Skladani, heavy touch as he tried to turn. Taken away by LaRoche. And Skladani tracking back. Big cheer from his teammates on the effort there. Tusik, room to turn. That one just a little heavy and just out of play. So number six, El Ball. And for the first time in the second half here for BW, as well as number 14, Ben McCauley. Taking time to get this one back in play, and Abraham sends this one about to midfield. Heavy touch there. Somehow Aiden Pickus able to keep it. Found its way over to Dom, and here's Dom. Should have played that one out in front of his right back, who was getting forward. Trent Green had a little bit of room in front of him. Or pass and out of play now for a throw. Eddie Tusik gets back on sides. With the left foot. This one sits up inside the 18. And Kyle Eddie with the finish, picking up the goal. That one sat up beautifully, beautifully for him. He put that one into the roof of the net. Abraham. Not a chance. He's really stuck. Couldn't do much about that. That one looks like those shooting drills and warm ups. And the senior knew exactly what to do with that one there. So, number three, Kyle Eddy gets his first goal on the season and his third appearance on the year. 5-0, Yellow Jackets, 12 left to play. So senior captain, leader in the defense, Trevor Ham, gets a rest, and that's going to do it for his night. And in the match, number 23, C.J. Kessler, the sophomore defender from Madison. We'll slide in at that right center back position. Next to number 27, Andrew Chase, who's still in the match. Muhammad looking for Eddie. Eddie takes it down off the chest. Plenty of time to just find some feet, drop this back to the defense. Kessler. McCauley cutting through two black jerseys. Kessler looking for that through ball, finding the split there to Skladani. Deflected now out for a Yellow Jackets throw right in front of the Student Prince bench. Three substitutions coming in for the Yellow Jackets. Young didn't have a long way to go. Out on the far side as he'll take a seat. Same with Michael Tusik as well as Nick Surowitz. Substitutions for Baldwin Wallace. Number 15, Nardine Ali. Number 17, Julian Kiris. And number 19, Michael Giganti. So number 15, Nordine Ali. 
And in the match for the first time tonight, number 17, Julian Karras returns, sitting on a goal this evening. And number 19, Michael Giganti, and to the match for his first action on the evening. Tom putting his head down and trying to drive. Maybe outrunning the ball there, and it got behind him. And the Yellow Jackets able to take over. It's Gladani turning, finding McCauley in some space. Wants to play this one back over to Kessler. About 20 yards of space in front of him. He'll bring it a little bit forward and looking for that cutting run of Michael Giganti. And the skip off of the turf just takes it a little past him. Abraham easily gathers this ball and he's going to slow it down. Push his teammates forward and send this one down the field. Header one by Chase. That second ball should have been won there by Heidelberg. Instead, out for a Yellow Jackets throw. Into play with Muhammad. Here's Skladani. Eddie fighting for it. Macaulay checking his short shoulder there and finds Ali. Head right back. Hard challenge, but ball one by Devin Smith. And there's a blatant pull from behind there by number 21, Hunter Groan. And that one was obvious. I think everybody in the stadium saw that from behind. And the official kind of said, what's that for? Let's calm down. Now getting that ball back in play, going back the other direction. The Yellow Jackets had an opportunity with the shot from outside the 18. That one just pulled wide left, going wide the whole way. And before we see the goal kick here in just a moment, we're going to have several substitutions for the Student Princes. Number 24, Nick Magoni back into the game. Good to see him back into this match after going out after taking a knock. Had been playing at that right center back spot all night. Instead, now he's going to move to the midfield. Also in number 26, Zane Paul, fresh, the sophomore forward from Botkins. Hard contact there from Hunter Grown and Almost playing a different sport there up at forward. That was a good wrap-up tackle there on Andrew Chase. Official having a slight word as he walked by again. Six minutes left to go. Still 5-0 in favor of the Yellow Jackets. This one out of play on the far side. Kessler. So rolling square ball to chase. Step over to bring the ball back here to the near side. Kieras turns through ball in the direction of Eddie. That one's going to roll just a little bit too far. Abraham coming outside of his box, clearing that one away. Back to the feet of Kellogg. Hasn't seen too much of the ball here in a little while. Things have been quiet for him, which is good for the defense, maintaining their shutout. Hard challenge from behind. And some of these challenges here in the last little bit have been a little bit more egregious. And there's the first one going into the book. Looks like that's number two, Luke Sawyer, who will pick up the yellow.
played short. Cross towards the back post. Muhammad close to that one. Still an opportunity inside the 18. Eddie unable to get around that defender. Tight pressure there. Just kept in play. Good job there by Groen. And now a foul from behind. Official going to need to come over and just take a quick look and a check, it seems like. Looks like Yellow Jacket's now going to go into the book from that foul from behind. And good thing is it appears that Lucas Stein is okay. Initially held the back of his head, but he is up and moving fine. And Heidelberg going to send this one long towards the 18, try to float this one up in the box. See if they can get a consolation goal here at the latter stages. Kellogg coming forward and commanding his box. Catching that one, and here's the blessing if you are the Yellow Jackets. You have a lot of size back there in goal. Zoltan Nagy, of course, 6-6. And if you have to go to Kellogg for whatever reason or in some spot duty, also it's 6-4. So two big goalkeepers for BW. Of course, the other goalkeeper they have on the roster. Sophomore Matt Beck also listed as 6'6", so size is not a problem back there in goal. That is for sure, and Kellogg showed it there. Throw for Heidelberg. They're going to win another throw. Just over three minutes left to go here in the half. So still just a Yellow Jacket sub on the far side. Official continues to wait for that next dead ball for that sub to be able to get into the match here. This one out of play. Going to be a Yellow Jackets throw and now an opportunity for the sub. So number 35, Connor Carroll, freshman defender from Twinsburg into the match and really a full shift for number 27 Andrew Chase the sophomore from Tennessee as he's played all but now three minutes that he won't play this evening great job from him as it looks like they will just pick up that clean sheet he was a big part of that back there at left center back McCauley finds Carroll. Turn there and nearly worked out for Giganti. Ali. Bob back to Kessler. Excuse me, that is McCauley. He's dropped back. Here is Kessler now. Kessler. Feeding it to Muhammad. Muhammad from left back across the six, and that one nearly, nearly a goal there. Giganti just could not finish and put that one on frame. In transition, great opportunity. Kira fires. Wrapped his laces through that, and it was tipped up and over. We'll be out for a corner here on the near side. BW wants to go quick. Muhammad nearly loses it. And he's going to win another corner with one minute remaining in this match. Muhammad puts this one in low. 
McCauley looking to shoot with the left foot. This one takes a deflection. Cleared out. Ali tied on the back of Hunter Grown, who turns and plays this one up the field. And Kessler going to be able to take his time. Kellogg takes a look back at the clock. Only 20 seconds left. Kessler and Kellogg able to play it back and forth with each other. Now to Ali here on the near side. Miscommunication there, and Heidelberg wins it back. Maybe an opportunity to get one shot. Instead, heavy touch there. And that is going to do it for this one, as the Yellow Jackets are going to defeat the Heidelberg Student Princes by a score of 5-0. Yellow Jackets, despite a slower start at the beginning of conference play, back-to-back -back wins, back to their winning ways that they saw in the non-conference schedule. And huge for their opportunity of making it into the playoffs into the postseason come the end of the regular season. Yellow Jackets move to 11-3-2 on the year, now 2-3-1. Like I said, helps them out in the OAC table. As for Heidelberg, still searching for that first win, they drop to 0-14-1, 0-6 in conference play here so far. For everybody who watched and listened to this one live, again, want to thank you for joining me here this evening. Uh, that is going to do it for me here tonight and for this one. Again, for all Baldwin-Wallace Yellow Jacket athletics, make sure to pay attention to bwyellowjackets.com. Still plenty of time left in the fall sports season for really all sports here at Baldwin-Wallace. But enjoy your evening, enjoy the rest of the week, and have a good one.